We can't live without water. We have to use water for cooking. We constantly have to drink water. Water is life. <laughs> I have a grandfather who's taking medication. He has to drink his pills in the morning and in the afternoon. Around Mabopani, water is a bit of a problem. In the morning, we don't have water at all. When the water comes back, it's not that clean. Osis water, it's better. It's very tasty. It's, <laughs> it's super, super clean. Several parts of Gauteng have been without water since Monday. Townships like Mabopani and Swashanguve are hard as hit. I started connecting with Oasis Water in 2016. That's when I opened my first outlet. It's not actually only about making money for yourself. Besides creating a job, you are also addressing a need. I have two franchises, Oasis Mokopong and Oasis Tibani. We currently have five permanent people. Oasis as a group is nearing 500 retail points now. We're investing in township economies. In the network, we already have more than 1,500 employees. Each one of these points have a high-tech water purification plant that delivers high-quality, safe drinking water. We pride ourselves, we've been looking around the globe and we believe we're the greenest water company around. We are very much focused on refill water as opposed to bottled water. Regardless of your economic or social status, you need to have access to affordable, clean drinking water. And uh, the refill water, we're talking about accessibility, affordability. Judging from the prices from OSIS and other shops, it's very much better to do a refill. Our relationship with Sunlam started during hard lockdown. We had to find a funder that would support us to go and replicate what we're doing in South Africa and the rest of Africa. And since then, we've been able to open 77 retail points. We've got 52 already in the pipeline. It's good that Sunlam supports business. It helps in addressing high unemployment, poverty, inequality. We're doing more than 200 million litres a year already. We've created over 100 jobs during that pandemic. And a significant part of the rollout was funded through the Sunlam facility. With the situation in our country, people just don't dream anymore. But you know, here we are, we are still dreaming. I'm in the business to contribute to people's lives, to health. Being in this business right now, I believe the sky is the limit.